Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be a little bit different than our normal makeup videos. I am doing an, a more so an experimental video. Huda Beauty. I think she created this technique. I'm not sure, but that's who I first saw it by. It is tape contouring and she showed how to like get your contour placed right on your face using tape. I'm gonna try this, but first I just wanna say if you are allergic to band-aids, you're probably allergic to adhesives and you should not be trying this. Or you can use an alternative, it's called paper tape. You can buy it at any drugstore and it's meant for your skin and most of the time it's hypoallergenic. I don't have sensitive skin whatsoever and I've never been allergic to any adhesives, so I'm not gonna worry about it. We're gonna put tape on our face today and it's gonna be a fun-filled video. I don't even know if it's gonna work out for me. It may, it may be horrible. We'll find out. It's just fun to experiment with our face. Hmm. We're gonna jump right in and get started. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel before you leave for more experimental videos. I mean, I post three videos a week. There's a lot going on here. Be sure to subscribe and we're gonna jump right in and we're gonna get started. Okay, so basically I have a picture here of Huda and how she like placed the tape on her face. So I'm gonna try to place the tape on my face. Like she placed the face, tape on her face. That's a lot of words. One little thing I'm a little skeptical is I put a very thin layer of foundation on my face before I got started, which is what I typically do. And the tape's probably gonna pull that off. But once you blend it all out with a beauty blender, you probably won't be able to tell where the tape pulled the foundation off. So I don't think it's really gonna matter. But um, I'm just gonna start with like a piece like, I don't know, what is this, like two inches maybe? It depends on the size of your face too. Not everybody's cheeks are the same. So this will be above my contour. Like, yeah, you get what I'm saying. And I'm gonna try to create like a little triangle and that'll be below my contour. Oh, I like that. Okay, that looks pretty. You're thinking I've lost my mind. I lost that a long time ago. I got a lot of face hair going on right here and so this should be interesting pulling it off. I got my face threaded once and it was the most excruciating painful experience I've ever experienced in my life and um, yeah it just it, it ended up not looking that great. So now we're going to do the nose. Um, okay here I go. I'm a little nervous. We'll just do like right here. Ow, the tape's stabbing me in the eye! I think I tore that piece too long. <laughs> Dang it, I put this piece too long too. <laughs> I'm my nose tape a little. That way it's not too distracting because this is normal. But she had a little thin piece of tape going down the middle so you get your dark lines because you don't want the whole, you know, top of your nose to be dark. Oh, Huda Beauty, come, come help me. There it is. This actually looks really good, this little thin piece. You get what I'm saying, what we did here? Like, look at that. Heck yeah. Oh, don't mess up my eyebrow. Come on now. I should have waited to do my eyebrows. I don't know, I do the temple area a lot, so we'll just... I don't know about a chin, but I'll just put some right here because I'm gonna like block off the chin because I always do a little contour right through here. So I guess everybody's, well I don't guess, I know everybody's face is different and where you should be contouring, I guess you would just apply the tape. I feel like I'm about to go get plastic surgery. Yeah, I think I did it right. All right, we're cool, we're good. Now what I'm gonna be using to contour today, you can use a darker concealer of any type. You can get a contour palette. It's gonna be a cream contour. I wouldn't, I don't know if I would recommend doing this with powder contour. My freaking Tarte thing breaks and like the inner liner of the lid comes off. It's so annoying, but this is in just shade deep. And basically now you just play, like you literally just fill in the areas. You know what I'm saying? So we're just gonna color now. Oh man, I wonder if this uh, shade is too dark for me. This is very interesting. Oh my God, please turn out good. <laughs> you know, we did our business and we're gonna take the tape off now. So, this is obviously the most fun part. I'm gonna start with my chin because this was very uncomfortable. I don't see that it, a okay, it did pull some foundation, but there's actually no foundation marks. So the tape's obviously not that aggressive. That is way too much product on my chin and that's no one's fault but my own. It feels so good to get this tape off my face. Okay, out of my eye. <gasps> oh my gosh. <laughs> what 
What did, what happened here? How did this piece of tape just break in half? Oh, you know what? There's still a piece of tape on my face. I'll let your tape play you. I just waxed my forehead. I feel it. It's ripping the hairs out. Okay. You know, we look pretty good. Now we're going to blend it all out, which should be pretty interesting. I'm actually going to use my Dampin' Beauty Blender, and I'm just going to use the little butt side. I always think of this as like the butt of the Beauty Blender. I don't know why. I already know I got too much stuff going on right here. I normally go shoop. And like I said, that wasn't required in tape contouring. That was just something Laura did on her own. I put too much makeup on. because I put too much product on my face because I got a little overzealous and excited with the tape. It happens. Now I'm going to go in with a little bit of the Naked Skin by Urban Decay. This is just a concealer. I'm using shade medium light and I'm going to highlight my face and this is also going to help tone down the contour. Here are the normal highlighting areas. I'm going to go back in with the top of my beauty blender and I'm just going to blend all this out in hopes and prayers that it all works out for me in the end. We look a lot better. The highlight definitely did a number in diffusing out that contour a bit. Again, that was my own fault. I got overzealous. If you try this at home, don't go crazy. We learned that together today. What I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to set my whole entire highlight and then we'll go in and we'll set our contour. I really think that this is working out for me in the good good though. This is Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. It's awesome. It doesn't flash back on you with a camera. It's just like a holy grail product to me. I'm now gonna take this F25 brush from Sigma and I'll dust away all of the powder. Okay, and now we are done. Um, I feel like it turned out pretty good. I mean, in the end, I did have to diffuse it. Tape was very interesting on my face. Again, if you're allergic to band-aids, adhesive, don't put tape on your face. Or if your skin's just sensitive, I would stick with the paper tape, which is hypoallergenic. You can get it at a drugstore. Um, you know, if you're having trouble getting your placement right with contouring, this just might be the trick for you. Thank you for inspiring us, Huda Beauty. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to my channel before you leave. And I hope to see you all in my next video. Bye, guys.